dear students in this tutorial we are going to discuss class 11 chapter 4 principle of mathematical induction so let us see what principle of mathematical induction is principle of mathematical induction is a method to display a mathematical proof to show that the given statement is true for all the natural numbers and not to confuse in between the natural numbers and positive integers students because uh, natural numbers are nothing but the positive integers okay so here in principle of mathematical induction you will be given with such statements okay but these statements are actually the formula these are the formula i mean this is the formula to find the sum of the n natural number and this is the valid formula to find the sum of the square natural numbers and these formulas are already proved this holds good for the all the natural numbers but here what we do is we just show a legitimate proof to prove that the given statement or the given formula is true okay so here we basically uh, follow the three form three steps that is base case assume and prove i'll explain you all this uh, all the step in the example because here if i tell you you may not understand it so i'll tell you in the examples okay this is the first example in your ncert textbook that is for all n is greater or equals to 1 prove that 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square plus all the way up to n square is equals to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6 so what we have to prove we have to prove that left hand side is equals to right hand side let us look at the solution you always start the proof by naming the given statement so let the given statement be p of n so here is p of n now so in step one what we do is we need to check if the formula is correct at least for the first natural number so what we do we check the given formula for n is equals to 1 we check if the given formula is correct for at least for the first natural number so to do this what we need is we need to choose the n term we need to choose the n term of both left hand side and right hand side so here are the n term of both left hand side and the right hand side we are replacing all the n by 1 so this n is replaced by 1 and here all the n's are replaced by 1 okay 1 square is nothing but 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 times 1 is 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 which is divided by 6 2 times 3 is 6 6 by 6 is 1 so LHS is equals to RHS therefore it is proved that the given statement P of n is true for n is equals to 1. Now we just prove that the given statement or the given formula is true at least for the first natural number. It holds good for the first natural number. Now we need to check if this formula is true for the other natural numbers also. In step 2 we have to assume that the given statement is true for some natural number k. If the given statement is true for first natural number then it should be true for the other natural numbers also and that natural number let it be k so we will replace all the n of the given statement by k so all the n in the given statement is replaced by k okay and here also k square k k times k plus 1 2 k plus 1 divided by 6 this is just the assumption consider this equation as 1 just assume here that's it for now it may look very silly for you but this step will need in the uh, step 3 so we need to keep this handy for our next step next step 3 now in step 3 we need to show that we need to prove that p of n is true for n is equals to k plus 1 also I mean if the given statement was true for some natural number k then it should be true for its successor k plus 1 also for suppose if it is true for uh, 71 then it should be true for its successor 72 also that we have to prove here now so here all the k here are replaced by k plus 1 the k square here is replaced by k plus 1 whole square and this k is replaced by k plus 1 this k is replaced by k plus 1 plus 1 here and 2 and this k again is k plus 1 plus 1 okay and whole divided by 6 and here you have to prove left hand side is equals to right hand side 
but these are the weird terms how can we prove that left hand side is equal to right hand side so we need to apply some logic here uh, see students 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square plus all the way up to k plus 1 whole square okay uh, so don't you think there will be a term k square preceding it obviously there will be because all the terms here are in the decreasing order 4 3 2 1 so if there is k plus 1 whole square here so obviously there will be a k square here so this term here is exactly same as this isn't it so we need to substitute the value of this pk here so let us do this now so this term i have written here and this k plus 1 whole square not to forget this term okay that will be equals to this is k plus 1 and k plus 1 plus 1 it is k plus 2 2 times k plus 2 plus 1 it gives you 2k plus 3 whole divided by 6 okay now you need to prove that this lhs is equals to rhs so this is what we need to prove ultimately now okay so let us solve the left hand side and prove the right hand side uh, so let's take the lcm here so this will be the lcm of this term that is 6 get multiplied here and the k k times 1 2k times 1 that is 6 get multiplies here and k plus 1 whole square uh, divided by 6 and here before multiplying the terms what we will do is we will try to find common and we will try to find and take the common outside here you can see k plus 1 is common and it is whole divided by 6 and 6 is also common correct so k plus 1 and 6 we will take outside as common uh, this will make our work lot more easier I will take the common terms outside here like such that is k plus 1 is common and I have taken it here see here k plus 1 is common and uh, 6 is also common so what remains inside is k and k plus 1 we have already taken outside so 2k plus 1 uh, is here inside uh, plus 6 and k plus 1 we will not write square here because 1k we have already taken outside okay that's why we will not take uh, we will not write a square here and next we will multiply the terms inside this k plus 1 divided by 6 will remain as it is and will multiply the terms inside okay and this is what we get next that is k plus 1 divided by 6 remains as it is and this k multiplies to 2k that is 2k square k times 1 is k and 6 times k is 6k and 6 times 1 is 6 so we get this after adding that is 2k square k plus 6k gives you 7k and plus 6 okay uh, let us uh, factorize this now 2k plus 7k plus 6 it is in the quadratic form uh, so let us factorize and let us get the answer okay so what will be the answer of factorization uh, so now these are the factors k plus 2 2 k plus 3 are the factors of this uh, in quadratic equation uh, so we will see uh, we will write this k plus 2 and 2k plus 3 here when i uh, substitute the factors here k plus 2 2k plus 3 we get this and uh, now uh, look at the lhs and rhs and let us compare now so k plus 1 is here k plus 1 is here k plus 2 k plus 2 and 2k plus 3 2k plus 3 and divided by 6 you can see here this is the exact copy of the right hand side so by this we can prove that k plus 1 is true whenever p of k is true so by uh, mathematical induction the statement is true for all the natural numbers now we can conclude that the given statement is valid for all the natural numbers so we check the given statement with n is equals to n plus 1 n is equals to k and n is equals to k plus 1 so we have checked all the possible values and we can now state that the given statement is correct and it, it holds for all the natural numbers.